Since last year, the Yellowfish Road program has expanded. It's expanded to include groups other than youth groups, and it's expanded with new partners across the country. And so this program has actually hit the ground in every province in this country. Stormwater pollution is everything that runs down a drain or runs down a gutter, runs off a driveway and goes into the sewers. That could be as simple as rainwater. There's soaps from people washing their cars. Anything that lands on driveways, on parking lots and or on roads is what's getting washed down those storm drains. Fresh water is a scarce resource. You know, for a country like Canada that has a lot of fresh water, we don't have a lot of fresh clean water and we need to protect it, and we need to conserve it, and we need to repair those waters that are no longer clean. There's a wide variety of ways to get messages out. Children provide a great venue for that because their minds are open. So children who go to their communities and paint storm drains to mark them and identify them as being connected to rivers and streams also provide printed material to the neighborhoods and they speak to people in the neighborhoods to further extend the reach of the Yellowfish Road program and ensure that the community is engaged as a whole. The biggest challenge for Yellowfish Road right now is delivery. It's volume of delivery. It's how many communities can we reach. We can only run so many programs, but the communities, the communities can spread the word.